is the Sanlam Mula Money Family Game Show. Each week, two families compete to win 50,000 Rand and stand a chance to be in the final to win 500,000 Rand. And the ultimate prize, confidence. But for now, here they are. Your game show hosts, Nicolette Mashile and Tyson Gubeni. It's a one for the Moolah, two for the show, three to get ready. Let's go, go, go. Welcome to our season premiere of the Sunlam Moolah Money family game show on our brand new home, SABC2. By the end of today's episode, one lucky team is going to walk away with a prize of 50,000 Rand or if they both have a slice of luck, they could be sharing that 50,000 Rand between them towards a charity of their choice. And they are very, very special guests that we have here today. Let me make sure Oguti, I introduce to you the person that I always roll with. It's the wealth coach, the financial bunny, Nicolette Mashile. The Sanla Mulamani family game show is the most exciting way for all of us to learn our finances. But let's be fair, we could all do with just a little bit more confidence when it comes to our money. We are not moving alone. We have overall guidance coming through from our financial advisor, Adele Barnett. Thank you so much. Much, Nicolette. Our focus today is on our youth, or Generation Z, also called Zoomers, who are between the ages of 10 and 25 years old. They are starting out on their financial journey, and we want them to grow up financially confident, secure, and prosperous. In every episode in this season, we are sharing a money financial confidence rule, and today's rule is small steps today can make a big difference tomorrow. So make your decisions and your moolah count. Back to you, Nicolette. Adele. Indeed, those small steps today are going to make huge differences tomorrow. Tyson? Nicolette, today we have some very, very special guests. I'm so excited to introduce them to you. Up first, in the first team today, they are known as the champs. It is none other than reigning Miss South Africa, Lale Lamswane. And today, her partner is Zoe Peterson, the academically brilliant Zoe Peterson, I might add. Welcome to the show. We'd love to hear more about you and who you're playing for. Hi, I'm Zoe. I'm one of the 90 young South Africans to be awarded a Sunlam UCT Online High School Scholarship for my high school career. I'm so excited to play and win this game so that I can realize my full potential and learn to live with confidence. Hi Tyson, I am Lale Lamswane, as you said, the reigning Miss South Africa and I'm also a social entrepreneur. I am playing for Ontingweni Primary School, which is based in my home province, KZN. Uh, representing the home province, good luck to both of you today. And they're going head to head with none other than South African cricket legend, Vernon Philander, who is paired today with the academically brilliant Tahira Naika. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Hi everyone, I'm Tahira Naika, and I'm also one of the UCT Online High School Sanam Scholars. And I'm so excited to be here and teaming up with Vernon and learning more about having financial confidence. Hi Tyson, my name is Vernon Philander, ex-South African cricketer, and I'm so excited to be partnering up with Tahira, the dream partner on the dream team, of course. You mentioned the name charity, I think it excites me because, you know, stepping out of the cricketing arena, I've really stepped into the charity arena, so it gives me great pleasure to announce that we'll be playing for the Tiger Book Children's Trust tonight. It is on and popping right here on the Sandal Moon Money Family Game Show, I can tell you that. Nicolette, <laughs> how are we looking? Well, champs and the dream team, the aim of the game is to accumulate as much moolah as you can versus your opponent. Now remember, one of the most important things for you to be able to play today is that you're going to choose between moolah or you're going to choose between an insurance policy. Because let's be fair, you don't want to find yourself in a situation where you don't have that insurance policy. Tyson, can you imagine one of our teams getting themselves in trouble and they don't have an insurance policy? That, Nicolette, would be absolutely tragic. I wouldn't want to be caught in that situation, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, how exactly would they, of course, uh, accumulate that? We're going to start with a game called the Moolah Money Mystery. Now, in this game, it is fastest fingers first, so you've got to get to the buzzer first. However, please do allow me to finish the whole question and all the three options that are available for you to choose. Now, once you buzz, you get it correct, you get to choose between a moolah or an insurance policy. And then we'll start to find out how you guys are planning on building your portfolios. 
Of course, but make sure that uh, before you hit that buzzer, you have an idea of what the correct answer is, because if you buzz and the answer is incorrect, then our teams could lose 2,000 mulas. We're so generous on the Sanla Mula Mani Family Game Show. We've actually started you guys with 20,000 mulas in your portfolio. Please get your fingers ready. We're about to start playing the Mula Money Mystery. Gen Z is the millennials' first generation. When were they born? Is it A, 1981 to 1996, B, 1965 to 1980, or C, 1997 to Remember, you've got to wait for me to finish reading the options. <laughs> All right, that is correct. All right, that was the, the dream, dream team. team. <laughs> got that one. The dream team managed to buzz in time and get that answer correct. Dream team, what will it be? Will it be Mula or will it be an insurance policy? We're going to go with the Mula. Are you get going with the Mula? Mula. You want the Mula? So if you look behind you, there are your scores. You'll be able to see them, right? And there you go, dream team, 22,000 Mulas. Let's move on to the next question. <laughs> Choosing between bank accounts, what are the most important to compare? Is it A, fees, interest, and benefits? B, availability of branches? Or C, A. banking apps? A. Team? <laughs> <laughs> so let us see if the chance was so quick on the buzzer. They chose A, Nicolette. Okay, let's find out if that is correct. Correct! Because that is what's going to make a huge difference between your <laughs> bank account. Congratulations to the champs. Now, champs, would you like to add some moolah to that portfolio or a policy? We'll take the moolah. Moolah. All right, congratulations, the champs. Let's move on to the next question. All right, what's most helpful to manage your money? Is it A, financial calculator, or B, acing school math, or C, Budgeting. C. The champs once again have gone for C. <laughs> Let's see if that is correct. Is budget yes! Budgeting is the most important way to manage your money because it tracks your money. On a bit of a roll. Dream Team, are we still here? Are we still We're here? Still here. We are? We're still, We're still here. here. Hey, the champs are on a roll. Now, champs, what would you like to do? A policy to that portfolio or add more moolah? Policy. <laughs> The champs are going with a policy, Nicolette. I love that. Policy is great. It is the end of round one, and the pressure is on. Yay! I'll just say to Kokumo Yanje Gangane. Yes, catch our breath. Because after the break, our contestants are taking on a mountainous challenge. I cannot wait for you to all see it. We'll be right back after this on the Sanlam Mula Money Family Game Show. Family Game Show. Now, today we're joined by two very special teams, our celebrity teams, and they're playing for charity. And the big prize, of course, is 50,000 Rand. And of course, Tyson, I think it is the right time for us to check in with those scores. Now, we saw the champs take going head to head against the Dream Team. However, look at the scores. The champs are starting off at 22,000 Mulas, right? And the Dream Team also at 22,000 Mulas. Mar, the first goal is that the champs have an policy that they're going to definitely need if something happens. Absolutely. And now we're going to be moving on to the Mula Money Mountain. Now, we'll begin with another fastest fingers first. And the difference here is that uh, when you buzz and get that answer correct, you will unlock a true and false question pack, which determines how far you move up the Mula Money Mountain. Mara, melang. Because if you slam the buzzer and your answer is incorrect, then we chop, we slash 2,000 mulas, Nicolette. Teams, definitely, I am the general today. So I just want to tell you something. When we unlock that true or false, please make sure you nominate one person who's going to audibly say what your answer is, right? And you've got to say it right after you hear that true or false statement. But right now, it is fastest fingers first, hands to the sides. All right, let's roll that first question. Investors, savers, big spenders, debtors, and shoppers are A. Types of bank accounts B. Money personalities or C. Financial planners B. 
And here comes team, which is the champs. They were quickest to the buzzer when they were activated. It is correct. Yes, it is correct. Congratulations, champs. Let's quickly pull your true or false. To manage your money efficiently, you have to budget. Successful true. budgeting is spending less than your income. True. There's no difference between wants and needs. False. I earn too little to budget. False. Talent competitions asking for money to improve my winning chances are scams. True. Right, and you got all of those correct. So you're going to move five spaces up the Mula Mountain. Let's find out where you end up. Here come the champs on the fifth and final spot. It is... A fast forward. That's a fast Nicolette. forward. So we're going to move three more spaces up that Mula Mountain. <laughs> Let's see where that lands you now. Up the Mula Mountain we go. And it is an investment policy. So we're going to be adding 4,000 Mulas into your portfolio. Team Jam, 4,000 more Mulas. There goes the scoreboard. 26,000 Mulas is the current score for Team Champs, Nicolette. Let's move on to the next question. What is a benefit of using a virtual bank card? Is it A, it cannot be stolen, B, it cannot be cloned, or C, both? C. Here comes the dream team with <laughs> C, Nicolette. <laughs> C, is it correct? Let's find out. Yes, it is there correct go, indeed. Yeah. That means we're going to unlock a true or false for you guys. Be ready, one person. Remember, very audibly, right? You can't manage your budget on a phone app. False. A credit card is not ready cash, but credit. True. You can track your expenses on your online bank statement. True. If I don't pay off my credit card, I get charged interest. True. You need at least 1,000 Rand to start saving. False. Positions up at the Mula Money Mountain. All those answers correct. Where will it land you on the Mula Money Mountain? What will it be? And it is a fast, fast forward. forward. You move a further three places. So we'll find out what that unlocks for you, Dream Team. Three more places. Oh, it's another investment into your portfolio. 4,000 Mulas right in there. Congratulations, Dream Team. Give us oh, the Oh, yes, a high five. And of course, that Mula gets added to that portfolio. So the Dream Team also sits on 26,000 Mulas, Nicolette. Let's move on to the next question. Buying things I don't need and didn't want before I saw it is considered A. Necessary spending, B, impulsive spending, or C, frugality. B. Here comes the Dream Team once again with their selection, B, Nicolette. Let's find out if that is correct. Indeed, it is correct. Yes. It is impulsive buying if you're just spending for the sake of it. Let's pull that true or false. Compound interest is when the interest on my savings earns interest. True. Compound interest works harder for you the longer you save. True. Every rand I save for a goal is one I don't have to borrow. True. True. Spending more than my income leads to debt. True. Impulse buys never lead to overspending. False. And it is five moves up the wheel of mountain. Let's find out where they end up. Here we go. One, two, three, four steps, five steps up the Mula Money Mountain. It is a conundrum. Absolutely fantastic. A conundrum means that you need to unscramble a word. You've got five seconds to unscramble that word. So let's roll that word in. Save. Save. Save, they say. Let's find out if save is correct. Yes, it is, is indeed <laughs> correct. <laughs> that means 2,000 Mulas will be added to your portfolio. Shoo! What a climb. Yeah, things are really heating up right here, and I think another breather is in order. So, don't forget to go to after the break. We still have our financial advisor, Adele, who's going to be dropping some nuggets of wisdom for our contestants. Can the champs bounce back, Abolalela and Zoe, or will the dream team further cement their dominance? Hey, Sizovona, after the break of the Sunlam Mulamani Family Game Show. Welcome back to 
a game that shows you all the hula. Tyson, I do remember what our financial advisor, Uro Nalikono, and she has been watching the full game, and she wants to give us some nuggets of knowledge. Thank you, Nicolette. When you have knowledge, you have the power to achieve many things. Here are some valuable nuggets of knowledge that might help you in this round. Proper financial planning starts with goal setting, which includes short, medium, and long-term financial goals. A budget helps you save money by controlling your expenses and getting rid of wasteful spending. One of the easiest ways to ensure you start saving is to automate your savings. As you can see, there's still a lot to learn. Tyson, back to you. Thank you so much, Adele. Yes, there is a lot to learn. I cannot wait for us to carry on with the game. Of course, we are still on the Moolah Money Mountain. Now, we will come, of course, back to a uh, true or false uh, question. But this time, instead of fastest fingers first, we will alternate from one team to the other. And of course, getting those answers correct will move you up the Moolah Money Mountain. But you still have to get the question correctly for you to be able to play our true or false. Let's get that next question. Which is an example of a short-term savings goal? Is it A, retirement, B, buying a new phone, or C, a deposit on a home? C. You have three seconds. C. All right, they have selected C. Let's find out if that is correct. Uh oh, remember short terms, shorter goals. So you were not looking for that one. And of course, that means, Nicolette, having gotten it correct, you lose 2,000 no. moolahs. So that portfolio is down to 24,000 moolahs as things stand, Nicolette. If you can't save as much as you'd like, it might just be time to A, review your budget, B, both A and C, or C, Cut back on expenses. We'll go with B. You gotta press it, you got three seconds. B. <laughs> All right, they have selected B, both review your budget and cut back on expenses. And yes, that is correct. All right. <laughs> Dream team, here comes your true or false. It's never too late or too early to start saving for tertiary education. True. A gold-based savings product can be used to save for education. True. When earning an income, it's good to protect your ability to work. True. Severe illness and disability cover are not types of income protection. True. I can be a child dependent on my parents' medical scheme until they die. False. All right, Tyson, that is four moves up that Moolah Mountain. Let's find out where they end up. Let's see. <laughs> Tahira was coming through with the steely confidence the over there. They move four places up the Moolah Money Mountain. What will it be? One, two, three four places and it is a, a conundrum. conundrum the second one for the day let's find out what that word is five seconds remember you gotta unscramble that word two thousand mulas can be added if you get it right two thousand can be taken if you get it wrong Ret retirement she's going with retirement let's find out if it is retirement uh oh no. it is actually internet but Tobamu Divu, with that exhausting climb, we're looking at the Moolahs right now. The champs are sitting at 24,000 Moolahs. However, the Dream Team has come back and they're like, listen, we have 26,000 26, Moolahs. Moolah. And they're the winner, right, Tyson? <laughs> we still have the Moolah money moment. Now, having accumulated the most Moolahs, you have guaranteed 25,000 rands towards the Dream Team. However, with the Moolah money moment, there will be one final question where the champs could potentially snatch 25,000 rands, thus splitting today's winnings. It's going to be a fastest fingers first. And of course, you got to make sure that you get that answer correct, because if you do not, then of course that 25,000 rand goes towards your opponent. Are we clear? Yes, and now Team Champs, are you ready to fight back and potentially snatch that 25,000 rand? Oh, but of course. Oh, but of course, says Lalele. All Lalen. right, <laughs> Team, remember the buzzers are only activated after I finish the last option, which is option C. Yes. All right, are you ready? It is definitely a Moolah Money moment, so it is a big one. Let's get that question coming in. Tandy wants to start saving. She needs to find a way to save money before she can spend it. How can she achieve this? A, 
She can do this by a debit order into her savings account. B, she could do this by keeping it in her purse. Or C, she could do this by transferring it when she remembers. A. Here comes the hero <laughs> slamming that button for A. Tahira has selected A, which is a debit order into her savings account. Is that correct? Let us find out. What a fantastic game you played, champ. You have been absolutely <laughs> incredible. Thank you so much for playing today. Nicolette, that was incredible. Listen, it was so thrilling. I was just like, okay, where's it gonna go? Where's it gonna go? And when Tahira pressed, I was like, is she right? <laughs> no, like, is she right? But she definitely is. And next week, we do have two families that are going to go head to head for that prize of 50,000 rand. And of course, a position into the quarterfinals. But of course, to win that 500,000 rand. Oh, absolutely. And of course, that ultimate prize, financial confidence. <laughs> now, for all of you out there in South Africa, make sure that you play the Mula Money quiz game on our website to win amazing weekly prizes from the comfort of your own home. And from me, Nicolette Mashile. And me, Tyson Ngubeni. We will see you next week on the Sunlam Moola Money Family Game Show. It is such an honor to be partnered with the amazing Miss South Africa. And she is really just absolutely gorgeous and such an amazing teammate to have. I think if I have to share a lesson to the next generation, it is to start saving and investing from young. Financial matters are very important and it's very important that we are informed, especially young people, and I think the show is just an amazing show that does that. Well, mine was just to hit those buzzers, but if Vernon like, um, helped me stay calm and centered, um, and yeah, I think we balanced each other out because I had a lot of nervous energy. I'm so grateful that we've incorporated the two uh, UCT high school online students. Uh, whenever I work with my clients, I always advise them to chat to their kids about money because money makes the world go round at the end of the day. And the sooner we start to learn about it and know more about it, uh, the better we can do. I feel oh. like definitely will. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be confident walking away with that money and that confidence. <laughs> so, always good to have both.